Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to the base to end all bases. God, look at it. We've got a mega reactor over here with... I really should relocate that over one notch. It's... It is starting to tick me off a little bit, but it's fine. It's okay. Uh, we've got lots of rods still in here that are ready to process. These are the... Well, they're not ready to process, but they're cracked. And we can process them for like a little bit of stuff. Um, there are some processing right now with nine days and 16 hours remaining, which is going to be good. Right? There's some goodies there to be had. Um, we've got some food that is actually being harvested. Oh my God. The lights. I have seen the light. That's all we needed to do. I might get these um, these two here uh, taken care of as well. We got five she on that. She'll probably be the quickest. And then these ones down here are all taken care of. Jolly. Okay, cool. So that's all uh, that's all coming along. Five she, if you could now actually, hang on, here we go. We gotta we gotta build these in here before you get too far too far away, mate. Um, and then could you build that and then build that? And that should get us taken care of. We've got a fire, which is uh, oh. Okay, well, dinner. That's cool. Um, I, I guess that it's fine. These things do happen. Um, there's a couple of boars that are wandering about that need to be hunted. That's also fine. Uh, we've got two missiles standing by of the 11 that we need to complete this. Now, here's the thing I've been thinking about. We're working towards getting those 11. We've got a whole bunch of research here like marine armor. Yeah, I'm going to let that I'm going to let that finish. Devil strands not super useful friends. Not super useful. Nor is carvings. Like, this is all just... Well, they're all, like, really quick ones. I'll leave auto door just to let you guys, you know, know that that's coming. Hang a sec. Because here's what I'm thinking. And this was a lovely suggestion from none other than my good friend, Loco Ombre, where he said, why don't you nuke the whole planet and then GTFO? And I'm like... That sounds like a fantastic idea. We've already got Starflight Basics. All we need now is the reactor. We've got the vacuum crypto sleep casket. That's cool. Now we just need the Johnson Tanaka drive. And what else? Um, where, where is it? It's all been moved around, which doesn't really help. Uh, is there, there was like, let's see. Starflight Basics gives us the structural beams. Then we need the sensors, which we have. We have the AI, which we have. Um, the Starship Reactor, which we can totally get. The Vacuum Crypto Sleep Cask, which we've already got. And then the engine, which we can do this in no time. Ah, oh, crack on it, friends. Get to it. We're going to build. Where would we build the ship? Where are we going to build? We can build it right in the middle here. Right in the middle. We'll just build the ship right here. Um, it's the most defensible spot on the entire map. We might have to move the pool. That's the only thing. But if we build the ship in here, then, you know, we can nuke the crap out of everyone. Actually, hang on. How about this? We can um, build the ship, turn the reactor on, then nuke everyone, and then watch as they try and raid us to stop us from taking off, and then lull all the way into space. I think that could be fun. Don't you? I think so. Anyway, so uh, the copper flooring in here is slowly coming along. And when I say slowly, I mean slowly because it does take a little while. Someone's got to pull up one of these and then everyone looks in the opposite direction. Is this steel? And it's copper. It just doesn't look the same. It looks sort of different -y. Oh, because there's a stockpile over it. Never mind. Uh, Siberian has created a masterwork synth thread jacket. Good man which is in there somewhere. Are you going to put it on? No. Okay, he's still rolling around naked, which is fine. I think Jesse just got it. Uh, did you? Synthroid jacket. Yeah, she did. Awesome. Well, that's good, Jesse. You deserve that. Um, does it make you feel good? Opinion of my wife, A510. Ooh, lordy. Look at that. Excellent. There's our marine armor queued up. Ha. Oh, okay. Now, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Here's where the fun begins. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, oh, that's right. I need a, a, a bionic eye uh, because A5 needs one. Boop. 
Good. Let's get that done. We're still waiting for this leg, which requires a bionic leg. Oh, okay, cool. And does the eye require a light receptor? Okay, cool. So, bionic leg, and we'll put that up there. And then a light receptor. Make light, light. Let's just search for it. That's fine. Light receptor. We'll get that. Boom. Oh, man. It's all coming together. Sabarian's doing some, some tailoring. We've got these friggin' things that I still don't quite know if I care about. Um, the VX1 neural chip, we did get one of those, didn't we? Okay, because we can, we can consider that. Bus. Blank neural network T4 Android. 5G, what are you doing? Hauling copper to copper tile. Not so. Oh, Red Gal. Are you creating an Android? Isn't that a crafting task? Are you able to do that? I'm not sure. It's fine. Uh, right, so. <clears throat> so, here's what I think we should do. Up in this here neck of the woods, I want to make some armor. Now, where do I do that? Not there. Uh, not, no, that's, that's guns. Uh, not there as well. Uh, no, that's that stuff. And this is that stuff. So, armor... Unless I've completely skimmed past it. Oh, I know. I know. Is it this friggin' thing? Um, it's his. There's my void armor. And there's my heavy marine armor. Righty dokey. So let's do this and this. And pause for a second in details. And then let's get some information. Uh, so it's 14040 for sharp blunt heat. And that's the heavy marine armor. The void armor is... Uh, 130, 80, 70. Hmm. But, uh, let's see. Antimatter composite, whereas this one requires advanced component, plasteel, uranium. Things that we have. Well, the uranium might be a bit dangerous. But, let's do a little bit of that. A little bit of this. How you doing, buddy? Import heavy marine helmet. And it's going to take a while. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll put that next to an assembly machine and we'll just start pooping out armor for people. Won't that be grand? Okay, cool. Siberian, good work. Keep it up. Uh, machine, are you done? Have you finished? What happened to that output that I wanted there? Um, let's just, let's just put that there. Um, and then maybe five she, if you could. Okay, someone else is doing it. Uh, let's have a look then. Bills. Oh, I see. That's why it's not doing anything. Well, let's go. Bills. Dunk, dunk, dunk. All right. Copy. Dog. Paste. And because you can't do a linked copy on this table, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but it shouldn't take us too long to go through and just quickly, just quickly replicate all these recipes over to this table. Um, it's not a table. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, where were we? Machine frame? Okay, cool. Uh, let's go a weak AI chip. Uh-huh. And a data disk. Spiffy. All right. So now we've got two machines doing this. This guy can be set to an input and can go into the digital storage unit. And now, searching for ingredients. I don't see why. What is it that you're searching for? Machine frame requires... 1050 steel. Ah, I see. I see. All right. Well, you can have a little bit more steel. That's fine. We'll share it amongst the two of you. How's that? So you can do it. And now you're making components because you just made a machine frame. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll chooch this up a little bit more. We may as well put this all the way to 75. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And so we've got components pooping out here while this one uses components to make machine frames. But now there's components being made and now there's components being made. It's going to be grand, my friends. Absolutely grand. Quest available. The Outlaw Lair. Ooh. Versus Das. All right, what do you got, dude? Apparently, pirates captured a nearby camp that have been raiding their caravans. The camp is controlled by Lincoln's demons. Um, that guy is asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. There's a bandit camp at the site guarded by 12 pirates. Okie dokie then. Well, so I could get a Neuralink, tr uh, sorry, a Psylink Neuroformer, or 
some goodwill might be nice. We've got 28 with these guys. If I start boosting goodwill with people, we might be able to... We might be able to like start trading with people other than just like whoever happens by slash the uh oh hang on that reminds me how long have we got in this uh 5.4 days cool all right that's done that's done stash is done masterwork and a masterwork end table jolly good for she well done um this is being made which is great well, by the looks of it it's there's there's junk sitting on the table there that's nice so how about let's have a look uh, where was that quest that we just agreed to? Uh, it is... So there's that crash site. We should probably look at that. There's Jaga. Um, Hatchet's Village. Uh-huh. Is that it? Bandit Camp. Dude, that's friggin' miles away. Does he just want me to destroy it? Because... Um, I may have a way to do that. What was the quest? Hold up. Um... Destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies, and it'll get us 27 plus the camp loot. Uh, I feel like we might want to actually, like, go there. How long is it going to take? How long is it going to take to get from here, if we form a caravan, and go there, and we accept, and it's going to be the Rons, and then the Misters. Alright, so we get these guys, and then we go the Misters, and we get Drummond and Deep. And then we grab some travel supplies of some batteries. No, okay, maybe items about uh, bat, 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 bat batteries. And then the muff unit. Me, m m muff, muff, me, m dot, m dot muff unit. Okay, great. So let's um, let's see. It's gonna take 19 day, 19 tiles per day, and it's all right. Let's just double check this. 1.4 days. Oh. And you have, oh, days of food unlimited. Well, why don't you just, yeah, just, just do it. I mean, we're not going to be doing any diplomacy or trading. We're seriously just going to murder. So if you guys want to go and do that, that's fine. I mean, I could drop pod them. I could drop pod them. But if it's only going to take a couple of days, then it's only going to take a couple of days. Why would I bother? fluffing about so let's just get him to go over there maybe what i can do is if once the, the area is clear i can send over the fixins to make a bunch of pod launches and transport pods and then we can pod launch them back does that work i don't know next time i want to uh, i do a high tech series like this i really want to um i really want to want to have a look into building um one of those uh space hopper like a spaceship kind of things i think that could be fun just being able to sort of like pack up a shuttle and fly anywhere on the planet and you know just go and do stuff um what's going on siberian mate what's going on your friend died insulted recreation unfulfilled huh all right well i mean maybe you could take a break what's your work schedule like uh siberian let's see where are you my friend um, yeah, you're set to do anything in these areas, so you should technically be allowed to go and do what you want. Tushi has created a steel end table masterwork again, which I still can't jump to, which is very strange. I'm assuming that that's real, and he's not just telling us that that's the case. Uh, how are these guys doing? Hey, 1,200 skill points. Jolly good. All right, who are we going to boost? Who are we going to boost? Let's boost. Let's boost some of the rons. Let's boost... Uh, no, they don't actually. Oh, because they don't have Skymind antennas in their heads. And they're also gone. So, it'll have to be... I guess... I guess, James, do you want to do a little bit of skilling up? Maybe we can boost your intellectual a little bit further? That could be fun. Um, what about Afton? Ooh, there's some good skills there, Afton. I'm pretty impressed. Sabarian, your crafting is just off the charts. And then you've got intellectual behind that. Jarvis, you, my friends, are a problem. At the moment, you're not set to do anything and you're a tier one. So maybe we can have a think about what we need. So let's have a, a little look here. So we've got two doctors. That's fine. Vat, warden, jailer. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Cook, we don't really care about. 
Hunting, I guess, is kind of useful, but it's not really something that I super care about. We've got three constructors. We don't have a secondary super awesome grower. I mean, Melvon's good, but he's got a lot of other things on his plate. So, Jarvis, do you want to be a grower? Is that is that going to be okay? So, if I go, like, growing plants, right, and I tick this, and that needs four. Okay, so you've now got a minor passion in that. What about if we do that? Okay, cool. And what about if we then do... Are we out of points? Available points zero. Okay, so he's now got a double passion in plants. Cool. And now these things are going to have to generate new points for him. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So, Jarvis, if I now make you... Uh, where are you? Grow. Grow. Okay, well, you're not on the list, but that's okay. We can find him. We can find him. Jarvis, Jarvis, Jarvis. Because, right, he's got nothing else to do. So, let's give him top priority. He's going to screw up for a little while, but because of the fact that he's got um, a good amount of, uh, of passion, he should learn relatively quickly and very shortly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jarvis. You still connected to SkyMind? Good man. Do me a favor. Upload yourself to... What? Oh, right. Okay, cool. So, Jarvis. Upload. T4. Boop. Confirm. Engage. All right. So, Jarvis is getting a body upgrade, which I'm pretty happy with. Monuments are done. Galatross wanders. And I could go and hunt a Galatross, but I don't think that's really fun. Um, beautiful rugs to decorate your colony. I'm down with that. Can I have that, please? Where is it? Where is it? Floors? Floors. Floors. Rugs? Fine burgundy carpet. Where are the rugs then? Is it in furniture, maybe? Um, or is it in extra furniture? No. Is it in misc? Linked doormat. Sure. Doormat, 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 hibernation pad. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I guess it'll it'll be in furniture? No. Well, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm sure it'll turn up sooner or later. Um, <laughs> I love that they put the tier 4 android, like, they lay them down next to each other. Like, oh, they'll be okay. Don't worry, you'll feel better soon. Uh, Misk? No, I already looked in here, didn't I? Right, so I don't know where the rugs are. Um, maybe someone can point that out to me in the comments below. And what else was there? I, I, there were some other things, but um, I, I, I didn't pay much attention, really. It's, it's fairly normal though, right? You guys are used to that already. Okay, cool. So, this is going along. There goes Jarvis. Jarvis? No, he's now T4. Oh, but he's on Jarvis's bed. That's why I got confused there. So, Jarvis, where are you, my friend? Zooming away with your mechanical spine... You can use battery, disconnect from SkyMind. Um, unless there's some more skills there for you, for your planty plants. No? Okay, cool. Well, let's um, let's just keep an eye on him. He's going to get out here somewhere. Here he goes. Off he goes. He's going to go and get himself some clothing. Lovely. Um, I mean, I could have stripped his old body and given him that gear first, but I don't think it's super necessary. And off we go, zooming off into the field. Oh my God, he's really moving. He's just absolutely booking it. Just putting some plants down. Yep. Sowing an area. And now you're sowing an area, but you're moving over here. Uh, you better not. That's not your bathroom. Oh, no. That's good. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. With, look, that that's a nice thing to do. Good for you. All right. And we've also got wallpapers, right? So where the frack are wallpapers then? So if I look at... Um, I guess it should be in furniture, right? We've got drapes, wall lamps, hammocks, blueprints, no. Zone stru structure? Uh, no. Wallpaper. Ooh, yes, look. Oh, what do you make it out of? Oh, yeah, rad. Okay, cool. Well, how about if we have wallpapering here and here? And then, like, this wall can be wallpapered? Sure. I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, it's... Wait, it's a wooden wall. It's a wooden wall that then has paper on it. 
Yeah, I don't really want that. I'd prefer to like carve this wall and like carve cool stuff into it rather than that. But I think that's okay. Okay, and yet another steel end table, which this time we can find. Oh no. Why is that set to deconstruct? That seems like a mild bug. That was quality builder. And this one, excellent. Let's just cancel that off. That's fine. And for all of those out there who have been screaming at their phones and monitors and whatever the case may be forever, I have completed auto doors. Episode 95, auto doors are now complete. Praise the Jeebus. Um, in that case, I think we should probably get in and let's just put in a bunch of steel auto doors because it'll help things to move about. There's our fire foam as well. Um, oh God, there's, there's just a couple of doors that need replacing, huh? So let's go like here, 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 like all of these high traffic doors that we need to worry about into here. Um, down this way should be fine into this loo. May as well get that done into this loo. Sure. Uh, this guy, that one's already done. My God, there's lightning going all over the place. Anywhere that people are walking regularly, I think there should be a, uh, I, there should be a fast door there now. We can get that in there. Uh, all of these bedrooms can be done. Oh, oh, um, and then here, my God, I'm, I'm like drunk with power. Like the idea of having auto doors on all of these doors after this whole freaking time it's actually i can't believe that i've left it this long honestly really uh multi-split air conditioning is done all these little ones just just quickly rippling through um and we can just just get them out of the way nice and quick i'll even no i don't need to do that one uh and then that's fine there we can have the double door here because that's nice and then into a fives room and here and this room and then each of the bedrooms up here we might as well do as well. Because, hey, why not? Why not? We'll just, we'll just get this stuff done. We'll get it done. I mean, there's all these doors as well, like leading into the, the turrets. But <clears throat> no, no, that's, that's too much effort. There was another question Jeff pointed out um, that I should make some of the turrets face north. Well, I've got these two here, so... They should, like, they're going to cover this area. And then this one, hello. How are you, big boy? Yeah. Are you having some fun? You are? Good on ya. All right, Textiles Trader has arrived. Let's get Jesse to see what they're up to. Uh, if you would be so... Oh, there's a combat supplier as well. Okay, I didn't even see that. Oh, right there, combat supplier. What do you guys got? Uh, Antimatter, do, 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 do. No, tech prints. Uh, weapons. You can have a bunch of random weapons. That's fine. I can just make more weapons. We've got recipes to... Yeah, totally take the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. I'll keep the Gauss Lance. Um, you may as well have those and the Battle Rifle and the LMG. These aren't worth very much, but they all consume a stack. Um, I'll keep the Heavy SMG, actually. The Assault Rifles I'll keep... The battle rifle, I'll, I'll actually, yeah, okay. Carbines, HMG, uh, bullpup. I've already got a couple of assault rifles. Bullpup, assault rifle, charge, shot, uh, yeah, huh. Um, and then I'll keep that. Keep the anti-material. Keep the bullet storm. Keep a charge lance. Keep a minigun. Charge sniper rifle, antimatter sniper rifle. In fact, if we're keeping those, then we can just be a bit more brutal up here, huh? And the red wooden gladius. Yeah, have fun. So, there's a good amount of stuff there to sell. It's not worth a super duper amount though. It's got to be said. I'll keep that void armor. Um, although it's 14%. No, go ahead and take that. Recon, void helmet, 16%. We'll be able to make our own shortly. Gloves, 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 gloves. Okay, so that's $1,988 for us. Is there anything else that I want from you? And the answer is kind of no. So how about we just max you out by dropping 200 of these in here? Uh, maybe 240, 260, 23, 350, 70. That should be fine. Cool. Uh, in fact, I can probably like skim this up just a little bit further and 
done. Spiffy. And now, Jesse, please call the textiles trader and see what they've got on offer. Right, 600, 603 cloth is pretty good. I'm happy to hang on to that. 269 synth thread, hang on to that as well. And some hyperweave, we'll hang on to that. But you can have this leather and pigskin and lizard skin and panthera fur and fox fur. And then there's a whole crap ton of old clothing that you are more than welcome to take off my hands. We are comfortable in making brand new stuff. Well, that one's brand new, so I'll keep that. Uh, all the brand new stuff I'll keep, but all of this stuff, which is, I mean, essentially, all this clothing has been acquired from people who have visited our base. And so, you know, and then it's gone through the washing machine and now it's good to sell. So it's fine, right? Twenty one ninety two. Uh, there's a cloth ladies hat here. Get rid of that. Cool. Couple of gloves. And um, do you want this mop suit? Bam. Like almost maxed it out again. Done. Thank you, friends. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Let's uh, double check one last time. How close are we? I'm getting antsy here. I want, I want some more goodies. Four days. Four days until we can have another Rimatomics trader bringing us the business. Uh, we're currently researching the Starship Reactor and then the Johnson Tanaka Drive. I don't think... I don't think... I mean, that's going to be finished really quickly. The way these guys are cracking on with it, we're not going to have any worries about that. This is done, so let's get the advanced heavy... Do you believe what's it in there? The, uh, heavy marine armor in there now, which is only going to take 1,240-something work to do. Jeez. Um... Some travelers are passing by. Nothing to worry about there. Um, I, I guess the thing that I'm worried about is, like, <clears throat> we're still choking for plutonium. There's still nowhere near enough plutonium to do what we need to do. And even with all of these boys just absolutely hammering away at full tilt, we're still not really close. Um, who's near? Uh, I think Dez was near to... Yeah, okay, Dez... Manage this for me. Tell me what. Tell me what is the hippie hap with my reactor. So all of these guys here, yeah, not so great. Like 8%. And in Omega, mm, yeah, not so great here as well. These ones are still, still just very, whoops, still very slowly doing their thing. Like 40% in some cases. So we might get one or two that are like doing well, but... I kind of don't want to burn too much. Mr. Drillman's caravan, however, has arrived at the bandit camp. So, ho, hello. Hi. How you doing? Uh, where are my dudes? Okay, boys. All right. Have no fear. Have no fear, Astro is here. And what I'm going to try and do, because these guys don't seem to have aggroed yet. What I'm going to try and do is let's skip back to the main base. And then... Oh, these can't target... Oh. Yeah, these can't target world tiles. What about if we quickly go to security and then artillery, 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 artillery. Actual artillery. 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 Actual artillery of the real explosion. Okay. Having a bath. Forshi. Forshi, mate. Come and get this done. Let's see if we can pop a shell over there. And then maybe, hopefully, we can give our boys some fire support. Would that be cool? I think that'd be friggin' cool. I mean, I could just send a nuke over there. But that kind of would murder them. Unless, while that's doing, is there... <gasps> oh. Oh, I can't resist it. I can't resist. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, boys. Get into this cave. Let's have a look. Hang on. Is it deep? It's deep. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, God. I can't. <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. But we're going to. Oh, my word. Yes, we're going to. Uh, James, my friend. Man the sax. Man the sax. Play me a blues solo. This is happening. Friends. I know I said I was going to reserve all of these nukes for exactly what um, 
I said I was going to reserve them for, but... Dun, 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 dun. Engage. I'm speechless. I'm speechless with excitement at seeing what's going to happen here. This nuke flying gracefully over the over the, the planet. Uh, planetary import... Okay, the combat supplier is left comms range. Don't really care. I don't really care because look, I'm nuking these guys and this time I get to watch the explosion. Ready? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. Switch back to my dudes. And we'll slow down a little bit. We'll slow down. Here we go. It should be. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god! That is amazing! It's a it's a hellscape! Listen, there's the wind. Well, we get some steel out of it. That's cool. And we... Oh, a muff unit died. <laughs> um, wow. Holy jeez. Wow. That's incredible. Nuclear blast fallout. Um, there's ash and building rubble and rock rubble and scattered sandbags and then just nothing. They're just gone. Holy crap. And our dudes are just here like, and what do, what do we do? Should we, should we have some lunch or something? Okay. Oh man. Holy crap. That was so satisfying. Oh, oh I want to do it again. I want to do it again. And we're going to, we're going to. Okay, but let's reform the caravan. Let's uh, let's come home. Um, oh man, that 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 is just just so beautiful. Should I get him to pick up the components and steel? It's honestly, it's not really worth it, huh? It's not worth it at all. Okay, guys, come on down. Let's get home. <laughs> let's get home. Get out of your um, nuclear waste-filled hellhole. Um, and I mean, I don't know. It, it still kind of shows that there's a base there. Is that an accident or is that just because they're still standing in that zone? What the frack is that? Hudspeth. Cool. Um, and so now that we've done that and we've nuked the crap out of them, the Kara Alliance, which is these guys, I believe, uh, which was, I think that was them that asked me to do it, plus 55, neutral. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Our buds. Our buds. Oh, God almighty. Yeah. <clears throat> well... I think that's as good a place as any to leave it. So, next time, now we've still got to make another 10 nuclear warheads to destroy everyone else. But, shit, at least we had some fun along the way. Friends, thanks very much for watching me. I'll see you next time.